Welcome back, everybody. So today, what we're going to be doing is uh, building some homemade budget sidewalls for the trailer here. So uh, what we got to do is I got some lumber yesterday at Menards, and uh, we will be installing these sides. Hopefully, it'll be a simple process, but if you guys are curious how to do it yourselves or you just want to see what I'm up to, stick around and enjoy this video. But first, we got to get the trailer backed into the shop and uh, get to work. And the purpose of this, uh, these sides is the inside of this shop you'll see is got old plaster and lath because this shop used to be a house. So what we've got to do is tear all that plaster and all the lath out and get rid of it. And instead of renting a roll off or a hauling small loads in the bed of the truck, I'm going to build these sides so we can fill up the trailer and uh, take the uh, excess materials and stuff to the landfill and uh, get rid of them. So... Stick around, this is gonna be a fun video, and uh, thanks for watching. For the demolition of this interior of this shop side, uh, we need, we talked about doing a roll off dumpster and a couple other ideas, and nothing really sounds like it would be worth it. So, decided what we're gonna do is I bought, if you, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm standing on some plywood and 2 by 4s here. I'm going to build four foot tall sides all the way around this trailer so that we can tear down all this lath and stuff and onto this trailer and then haul it to the dump or to burn. So that way we're not paying for a roll off and it's not like we have to have this torn out in a week or two weeks, however long the roll off company would have given us. This way we have our own dumpster basically. We can use it at our own pleasure however we want, whenever we want. So it's not like this project is forced within a certain amount of time and I can slowly work on it myself or if I can get friends that want to help out whatever but that makes it so that I don't have to worry about getting it all done at once and then I'm also using stuff I already own and not paying to use other people's stuff so there's that too so uh, this episode's gonna be how I'm building these I, I don't even know quite yet how I'm gonna do everything exactly but I have a general idea of what I want so uh, come along and maybe learn something so first things first, this is the plywood and 2x4s I bought yesterday. So all together, all you see here is four sheets of half inch OSB. And I think I got eight, eight foot long 2x4s and then two boxes of screws. Everything was 95 bucks for the whole thing. So all that was pretty easy, pretty cheap. So unstrap it. Pull this tarp up. It's in here good. <laughs> I don't care about this tarp clearly, so. All right, I'm gonna make you guys watch this whole process. So if you're wondering why I had that tarped, um, that is because uh, we got rain last night and I wanted to keep this wood as dry and straight as I could and it worked so got some nice dry straight wood i was gonna pull it in here last night but decided i'd rather the truck be inside than the trailer just because i like my truck <laughs> and the trailer's cheap so yeah let's uh start pulling this stuff off and figure out what we're gonna do here <laughs> So here's what I've got. So my idea is I got, this is a 12 foot long deck on this trailer. So a sheet of plywood standard is eight feet. So I figured I need three pieces just to cover the side. So that would be one full sheet here, one full sheet here, and then a half a sheet and a half a sheet. So that's what I did. I cut one sheet in half and that is one side. So um, as far as supporting it, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do yet. Um, I need to probably run a two by four, at least down the middle to connect these two. And then I still have to figure out how I'm going to 
I actually fasten the walls to the trailer so that they're sturdy but also removable for when this project is done. So that I have yet to figure out, but so far that's just to give you an idea of what we're gonna be doing. So here's the other half that'll go on this side, and then I have an extra full sheet for the front. So far that's what we got. I did here is it's just a full two by four um, there's multiple screws on the outside I didn't screw from the inside yet I might I actually might not I don't know but um, I'm really tight on that far wall so it was hard to get back there but this side will be a lot easier but once I get the other side matched as this one and then I make the front piece then it's just a matter of kind of stabilizing it so that it doesn't wobble and so it's safe on the road so uh, we'll get that figured out here and uh, get this other side finished first, but then we'll get up to that and figure out how we're gonna make this thing sturdy. Two sides down. Now we just got to build the front. We've got three walls we've got the whole side walls are on on both sides and then the front wall is on the front and so what we did is there's just like eight or twelve foot chunks of two by four and then they're screwed in from the outside on both corners creating a nice strong square joint top and bottom so over here on these joints, I have a couple more pieces like that that are gonna go on these to keep them from flexing like that, top and bottom on both sides. And then the back, I'm not 100% sure quite yet what I wanna do to make it not floppy, but um, it might just end up a, a board straight across the back, but I don't know yet, we'll see about that. <laughs> All right, so the sides are complete now. Uh, these are not perfect, um, so just know that, but they're they're very sturdy and they're definitely gonna work. So what I'm, just wanna let you know, these are um, what keeps my gas cans from sliding around when I'm doing lawn care. Uh, so these sides are gonna come off um, as soon as we're done with the demolition of this shop. So this is just temporary, but basically what I did is these, there's screws in those on each board holding the corner tight and square, top and bottom. I could have just done a straight board, uh, but you know, this uses less wood and is just about the same strength. So then this board is just connecting the two because this is a full sheet and a half, so 12 feet. Uh, this is an eight foot two by four holding them together. And then same thing, there's a piece there and a piece there just holding this joint from being floppy and stuff. So then at the end, I wasn't sure how I was gonna make it sturdy without adding a beam across the top. I didn't want that because that's what everyone's gonna hit their head on. So what I did was I put a two by four, four feet long on here, screwed it in on, from the outside and then drilled. See, I was wondering if to mount this, I was gonna have to drill holes all the way down the side of the trailer. Thankfully, I don't have to do that, but I did drill a hole there and there in the metal sides of the trailer to sturdy up this back end because I don't want it wobbling and moving around. Uh, it does wobble just like slightly, but it's not like a dangerous wobble. It's just the wood and stuff flexing. It's not going to fall off or fall apart. That's for sure. So 
Uh, I'll pull this thing outside so we can take a better look at it. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much all it takes to build. And I actually only used four two by fours. I have uh, four left, so that's cool. Uh, so all this took was four full sheets of OSB and four two by fours. So, and uh, like half a box of screws, a small box. So pretty affordable for that. I would say it was probably only about 70 bucks if you deduct the extra two by fours and screws I bought. So yeah, pretty affordable. And I've got sides that I can take off and put on whenever I need for demolition and whatever else I need. So these are handy. All right, so here it is complete. Uh, these are four foot sheets of OSB, full sized. Just about the size of the ramp even, so that's neat, looks nice. So you'll notice, right, it doesn't look like it's square. That's just because of the way it's bolted on. It's not wobbly at all. So it does look, I don't like that it looks that way, but it is strong, so just gonna have to deal with that. And it's just gonna get loaded with uh, plaster and lath from my shop here. All this is getting torn out, so that's why I built that so that I don't have to, uh, so we don't have to get a dumpster. So you just throw it all in there and haul it off to the landfill or burn it or whatever. So yeah, that is the uh, finished product. All right, so we are driving right now, and uh, there it is back there, and it's driving just fine, runs just like I was hoping, and uh, looks good. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one.